Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Starting Eleven show. Crystal Palace versus Everton in the FA Cup third round. Yeah, let's get into it. it listen, Everton have looked very jaded in the last few weeks. And again, this game comes on a Thursday night, uh, which is going to mean changes. And I think if it had been on Saturday or Sunday or even Monday, I think maybe we would have had a stronger side. But I think playing on Thursday after the, the schedule we had is going to lead to changes and my team is going to going to reflect that. So let's get on with it. Jordan Pickford in goal. I don't think the manager makes that change. I think he'll make changes other pla in other places, but I think he'll want to keep that uh, continuity and, and I don't understand why you would change your goalie unless you've got an amazing second choice goalkeeper. So Jordan Pickford in goal. At right back, I'm going to go for Seamus Coleman. He's been out the side, but he's back now and he needs uh, some minutes. So I think this is a perfect opportunity. Plus, is he still our best right back? I think he might be. So give him a start. At left back, Michelenko. We don't have another left back. And of course, he was out. So, again, more minutes in the tank for him. Get him a little bit sharper. I don't think he needs a rest. Um, and he looked our best player on Saturday against Wolves. So, I would I would uh, definitely start with him at left back. At centre back, Michael Keane and Ben Godfrey. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. But I, I just think, I just think for... For the for the sake of the season, this, you know everyone bemoans the position we are in the league. Again, if we had twenty six points and not sixteen points, we might be we might be able to say right, we're going to play Tarkin and Beck Godfrey. I think we need to make sure our players are all fit. If you're tired, if you if you've got muscle tiredness, that can lead to injuries very very quickly. I think we've got to protect our best players. So I'm going to leave out Tarki and, and Jared Brantwait and play those two. Um, Michael Keane's played some minutes of, of of late. Ben Godfrey didn't let us down against against Burnley. Um, so I'm going to go for those two. That's just the way it is. That's just where we are at the moment. Moving into midfield, I don't know whether there's many changes you can make in midfield. I really don't in that centre part of midfield. I th we've only got three midfielders in there, and it makes it very difficult unless he brings in younger play younger players, um, which he might he might well do. But I'm going to go with Onana, James Garner, and and just ahead of them, Andre Gomez. Um, Gomez obviously was on the bench on Saturday. He's got game time. I think he could start another game. Obviously, he started against Manchester City last week. So, I'm going to go for that three. It's not ideal. I would love to give um, certainly James Garner a rest. I think he deserves one more than anybody. Uh, oh, nah, in the last couple of games, looked. Certainly, he lo he picked up an injury against Manchester City and he, he never really recovered from that. And Again, he's, you'd love to give him a rest, but we just don't have the players. We just, we just don't have those players available to us. So that's my three in midfield. On the right, I'm going to go for Lewis Dobbin. Um, he has come into the side at times. Um, obviously scored a goal recently. Yeah, I think he'll be one saying to the manager, give me a go. I'll show you what I've been doing. Jack Harrison, again, he's another one who looks who looks pretty spent. So he'll start on the right. On the other side, I'm going to go with Dan Juma. Again, there's a lot of talk about him possibly leaving Everton this month. Utilise him then. Utilise him while he's here. Or utilise him and see if he can stay at Everton and can give us a worthwhile uh, player who can come in and give us something a little bit different from the left or even from a central area. He's our player. Use him. Give Dwight McNeil a rest who, who again, has run through brick walls for us and has obviously got his own struggles off the pitch as well. So, bringing Dan Juman in. And up front, I'm going to put Beto in the side. Again, Dom looks like uh, he needs uh, just needs a goal. But I think if you're making this many changes, you might as well bring Beto into the side as well and see what he can give us. Again, he's, he he needs a start and it'd be great for him to get a goal. Um, so lots of changes in there. 
But I just I just think where we are right now, we have to have changes. We can't afford to pick up any injuries. And for me, I don't think we can afford to bring Decore back just now. I'd rather leave him for, till the Villa game. So that's my start 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What would you go with? Would you go with the, with the strongest team you could? Let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out the match preview as well. And if you want more exclusive videos, join us on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR codes come up on the screen now. See you later.